guys welcome back to lo-fi baking today i'm gonna show you how to make these delicious strawberry lemonade cookies i'm so sorry it's been a while since i've posted a video i have some more content coming soon okay let's get into the ingredients for these cookies so we have two boxes of cake mix strawberry and lemon we have two bowls that have one cup of oil each four eggs lemon extract and a bowl with powdered sugar okay so we're gonna get to the bowl of powdered sugar later so first we're gonna start off with those uh, with a runaway egg <laughs> and with our lemon cookie batter okay so we have our cake mix in there um, our one cup of oil I'm cracking my eggs into a bowl and I'm gonna add those and start mixing okay so I like to put my eggs in a bowl so that I can see the shells and make sure I don't get any shells in there and um, also I added in a teaspoon of lemon extract into the lemon cake or the lemon cookie batter part okay so you want to make sure that you mix this until all of the lumps are gone and also make sure that you scrape the sides of the bowl while you're mixing just to make sure you get everything incorporated evenly so this video is sped up a little bit so it just may take you a little bit longer when you're mixing but be patient trust me it will pay off now i got a little asmr for you guys okay enjoy <laughs> y'all think about the ASMR part in the segments and I can incorporate more into the videos if y'all like that okay so now we're going to do the exact same thing with our strawberry cookie part except we don't add any extracts we just do our cake mix two eggs and a cup of oil as far as the oil goes you can use any oil you like I use vegetable oil personally I like to bake with that but you can use whatever you like and make sure you go all the way until all the lumps are gone just like we did with lemon. Okay, so now we get into the fun part here. So as you saw earlier, we separated both cookie batters into a bowl separately. So I like to use this Baker's Joy spray. You can use whatever nonstick spray works best for you. And I took a small amount, you could say maybe like a tablespoon, maybe a tablespoon and a half amount of the strawberry cake batter. And I rolled that into a ball. So we're going to do that with our, again, with both cookie batters. So we take, first we do, well first I did strawberry and I rolled it into balls, portioned it out, took a very small amount. And I'm just going to repeat this process until my until all of the strawberry cake batter is in a ball form and I personally am putting it on top of wax paper because that is non-stick you can use whatever works better for you so next we're gonna move on to our lemon cookie batter so we're gonna do the exact same thing try to make it as even as possible with both it doesn't have to be perfect though um, but so you can also make your cookies bigger if you want if you want bigger cookies mine came out to be maybe like the size of the palm of your hand um, when it was all baked and said and done so next we're going to combine both the balls of cookies as you can see here and you just want to roll them slightly until they combine to the point where they're not gonna come apart so I tried to show y'all as much as possible I know I was moving kind of fast but I wanted to show you as much or as many as I could so you can get an idea of what it's going to look like or what it should look like so that they don't come apart the fun part about this too guys is y'all can do whatever flavor cookies you like so you could do strawberry and vanilla, you could do strawberry and chocolate, 
cookies all you have to do is just change the um, cake box that you use so next we're going to dip the cookies in powdered sugar so this is where our bowl of powdered sugar comes into play and this part of the process is going to give you the crinkly look whenever you bake your cookies it also gives you a nice sweet touch to the cookie um, so when you bite into it it's not too overpowering but it has a nice sweetness to it <laughs> So after you dip the cookies in the powdered sugar, you want to put them on a baking sheet and spread them out so they don't touch when they spread and preheat your oven to 350 and bake these in there for about 8 minutes or until the edges are golden. And there you have it folks, thanks again for tuning in and subscribe for more tutorials.